everyone, it's Karen the Jodie Grandma. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I hope you're all well. I thought I would bring you a June favourites and fails this week. Uh, I know it's the 7th of July today, but I can still remember June. I've got, it's mainly makeup and beauty, a little bit of jewellery um, and some TV stuff. So I'll just get on and, and do it. So the first thing I wanted to show you that I've really been enjoying, um, not just in June, but I've been enjoying it, enjoying it for quite a while now, but I thought I would share it. And it is the Mila Simone Azura Essence, I've got it written down here so I don't forget, Vitamin C Serum. I got this gifted uh, a few months ago in exchange for my honest review. Um, and I do love it. I really do like it. It is a quite a liquidy serum. You can see there. Got a little pipette with it. It says to use two to four drops on your face, um, morning and night, just just smooth it into your skin. Um, and it says it takes it wait until it dries before you put your moisturizer and everything on. But this dries really quickly, um, very quickly. But it does, it makes my skin feel just so smooth and, and ready to put my makeup on. I haven't been using it on a night time in the last month, but I do use it on a morning before my moisturiser. And it just makes a really smooth canvas <laughs> um, for, for to put your makeup on. And it does give you a little bit of a, like a healthy glow as well. Probably the makeup you put on after that kind of disguises it. But I can really recommend that. I'll tell you what it's supposed to do. It says it plumps and hydrates, makes skin brighter, erases wrinkles, fine lines and blemishes. Um, I don't think it erased any wrinkles or fine lines. Maybe it did erase some blemishes. Um, it definitely did make my skin brighter. And it probably does plump and hydrate because it does make your, your skin feel really smooth. So that's probably true. It is vegan. Um, this is a 20 ml bottle and it's 18.95 for that on Amazon. Like I said, I had this one gifted so I didn't pay for it. But if you wanted to buy it on Amazon, it's 18.95 but at the moment it's only 14.95 and I do think it's worth picking up. It, it is really it is really nice product. I'll drop a I'll drop a link to that below just in case you're interested in going to have a look. The second thing um which I'm also got on my face today is the Federico Mahara Ideal Cover Foundation. And this is in soft beige. Um, is Again, it's vegan, cruelty free. It says it lasts up to 24 hours and it's moisture resistant, so apparently it's good for hot weather. And I have found that it does stay on my face. It's supposed to stay on your face 24 hours. And I, obviously I wouldn't leave my makeup on 24 hours because I take it off before I go to bed. But I definitely say this lasts for eight hours, you know, if, for through the day. It is a really nice. It's the first time I've tried it. Uh, it was me sister-in-law's been doing some online craft fairs. She usually does like offline craft fairs, but because of lockdown, she hasn't been able to. So she's been doing some online ones and she's had different crafters and kind of beauty and, you know, jewellery people on to sell their products online. And one of the ladies was from the Federico Mahara um, cosmetics and perfume range. I think they're called FM Makeup rather than saying Federico Mahara all the time. It's FM Makeup. So I bought this from her. She was on one of the craft fairs online. So I bought this from her. It was £16.50 and I'm really impressed with it. Uh, like I say, I'm wearing it today. Um, I think it makes your skin look really good um it does give it a bit of a glow i'd say it was a a medium coverage um i don't tend to build foundation up a lot i don't like to wear a lot of it so it probably is it's probably a medium coverage but you could build it up if you wanted to it says it's enriched with vitamin b3 and e and it is semi matte and it's did i say it was 16 pound 50 for this um it's a pump action glass bottle I'm not keen on glass bottles because you can never get in to use the, you know, the, the rest of it up once it stops pumping. But I suppose if you've got a brush, you could take the top off and get a brush into the, the foundation to get the last bits out. But I highly recommend the FM Makeup Ideal Cover Foundation. Um, this is in a soft beige. 
it's the second lightest colour. I would normally get a nude colour because I've got a really fair skin. But I don't know whether I've got a little bit of a tan on my neck at the minute. But this one, I thought when I looked at it, I'll just show, I'll put some on my finger and I'll just show you it there. I don't know if you can see that. I thought it was going to be too dark. Um, but when I put it on me on my face, I actually thought it gave me a brighter look. Sometimes I think the nude colour foundations can make you look a bit washed out. But I think this one, uh, the soft beige, just worked really well for my skin. So highly recommend that one. The next thing is also something from the Federico Mahara or the FM range, uh, who I also got from the girl that I got the uh, foundation from. And it is the Pure perfume 34 this is uh, now it said on well she said on the um on the craft fair thing that it was a i don't know whether she said it was a dupe for chanel chance uh, on the website it says inspired by chanel chance so i think that means it might be a dupe i don't know what chanel chance smells like so i couldn't tell you but this does smell really really good um obviously you can't smell it i wish there was smell a vision it smells, there is a, a, a like a musky, a musky smell, but I, can, I also get like hints of watermelon in it. It's, it's a really pleasant scent and it does last quite a while because some perfumes don't last very long on me, but this one does last quite a while. It's a really nice. Now it says on the website, I don't know what any of these things mean. It says the head notes are iris, pineapple, hyacinth and pink pepper. Sounds nice. Uh, you can smell a pineapple flavour in it. Heart notes, jasmine and lemon. There is a little bit of lemon comes through on there. And the base notes are vanilla, vetiva and musk. I can definitely smell a musky scent in there and also a little bit of vanilla. Don't know what any of those head notes, heart notes and base notes mean. If anybody does know, just let us know in the comments below because I'd really like to understand what that's supposed to be. It's £14.90 for this 50ml bottle. Um, and it's a really nice smell. I did pay for the foundation and the perfume. I didn't get those gifted. The next thing that I've enjoyed in June because of lack of hairdressing um, is this Root Perfect Spray. It is an instant root concealer spray in brown. I might have showed this in one of my haul videos. In fact, I think they had a darker colour and a lighter colour, but I decided this was more suited to me. I wasn't holding out too much hope for what it would do but my roots were getting quite bad if I didn't dye my hair I would be completely white so I did like this I thought this was really good I've got it on my hair today I'll put a before picture up here so you can see it is a little bit patchy because it's got a, like a straight I don't know if you can see that it's got like a straight nozzle so when you do it, it you get one straight line so it's brilliant when your grey roots are just coming through and you can do the straight line down the middle and it, it hides all your roots. But unfortunately, as your roots get wider, as they spread down your head, you need to spray, obviously, a bit more of it. Probably if you weren't in lockdown, this would be great because you would only need it when there were a little bit roots and then you would be going the hairdressers. But as I haven't had my hair dyed for quite a few weeks now, my roots have gone down to here. So I've had to spray some more lines. So I have got a little bit of a patchiness. But I'm quite chuffed with that. Um, and even Warren thought it was good. He, he, when I first used it, he went, wow, that does work. So I was quite impressed with that. I think that was only $1.99 and I got it at Home Bargains. The next few things are things, <coughs> excuse me. The next few things are things that I got for my birthday. I was 57 in June. Um, I got a few really nice things. I did get some vouchers or gift cards or whatever you want to call them. So I bought myself a couple of items. The first thing I bought was this top. Um, I'll put a picture in of it here full length so you can see what it looks like. I really, really like it. It's really summery and I was really impressed with the, the fit and the style of it. Um, I got it from Amazon. It was $15.99. It's the brand is Kiss Moda. And when I looked, they had 29 different patterns you could get. So I'm definitely going to go in Amazon and I'm going to buy a few more of these in different patterns because I really like the shape of it. I got this in a size 18. I'm usually an 18 to 20 with tops. Um, I got it in a size, size 18 and just the fit was perfect for me. 
so you can see it's longer at the back um so it covers all your you know things you want to hide um i just really love it it's got you know short sleeves it's got a nice sort of lowish neck i like a low neck because i think when you when you're a little bit bigger and it's a high neck i just think it makes it look a little bit more bigger so i like to have a, a, a low neck it has it hasn't got a button on the top um so that's open and it's got three little buttons here which you could open if you wanted to if you wanted to be a bit flashy um but i just love it it's got a little bit of a seam do you call it a yoke around there um it's a nice silky kind of material as well just really summery and i really like it so i'd highly recommend you go on amazon and have a look at these tops again i'll put a link to them below if you want to have a look i also got another gift voucher for my birthday so i decided to buy a revolution makeup palette this is the revolution flawless chilled um revolution eye palette uh, and it says with cannabis sativa chilled with cannabis sativa i'm not sure what that means but i'm sure i'm not going to get high by using it on my eyes i am wearing it today if you can see it's, it's all greens and blues and golds i absolutely love this i've seen i've seen this for quite a while and i thought i've got to have it absolutely love it it is look at those colors they are absolutely beautiful got a nice mirror on there as well but just some of those i mean look at that look at those colors um I've, I'm, I'm using some of the darker ones today and i think i've got some of this one on and a little bit of this one but just those colors are fab i really love them i've got quite a few eye makeup palettes now i've got like loads of pinks and browns and um oranges and purples but i didn't have anything green i've never really worn green eyeshadow but i just love that i mean look at the packaging man uh, i always want to put these on my wall as art e even just that you know just thinking that on your wall is hot would be fab wouldn't it and that was 12 pounds for that one and like i say i'm wearing it today i'm not winking at you it is very pretty um so that was the revolution eye palette a couple of other things i got for my birthday i'm wearing as well i got this necklace i, I put a, a better picture in up here so you can see properly it is a cat stretching um i am cat crazy crazy cat lady uh so it's a, a silver stretching cat and i've also got the earrings to match you probably can't see them very well on us but like i said i'll put some pictures here so you can see them and they'll already be there when you're watching them so i don't know why i'm saying that they are silver they came in some lovely little boxes uh, and they've got little pouches to put them in so you can keep them you know clean um just just love them i didn't have much silver jewelry and i like anything cat so i was happy with that i got another i could have shown you the boxes really these are the two cute little boxes that came in just really pretty i did get another necklace for my birthday this one is um a pendant a pe pendant necklace obviously I suppose it could have been a choker, not obviously. And I've got it stuck in the box. Okay, so this other necklace is a, it's a silver chain and it's got a green pendant, triangle pendant on the bottom. I'm not sure if you can see that. It really sort of glints in the light. Is It's like green glass. Very pretty. I don't have any green jewellery. So I was really happy to get that from my sister-in-law. Um, she got from one of her crafters that does the online craft fairs. I think it's made from um, glass that the the guy who makes them picks up at the at the beach. I think I'm not entirely certain. If I can find a link to his website, I'll also link it down below. But I thought that was really pretty, so I was really happy with that necklace. That was another of my June favourites. Another beauty product is this. Beauty and Planet Coconut Oil and Ylang Ylang 2 Minute Magic Hair Mask and it says Hope and Repair Hope and Repair? It says Hope and Repair and I did because my hair was getting very dry so I picked this, I think I picked this up in Sainsbury's I'm sure it was only like I think it was £6 for this you only need a tiny bit of it it's got a lovely smell does smell very co coconutty. It's like a smooth, creamy consistency. 
you only need a tiny bit of this if you've got hair my length um because it is really creamy vegan friendly uh, you leave it on for two minutes and it does make your hair feel very silky soft so love that one the other thing i got from for my birthday i really wanted to stock it and organize properly so my daughter bought us this clever flock clever flocks clever fox planner it's absolutely it's really it's really nice it comes in this lovely white box and you open it up and it's like an aqua blue inside i think it could get different colors um it looks like that it's got the little elastic bit to keep the book fastened it's got in the beginning part i'll just show you the beginning i have started to write on it i decided to start using it on the first of july um start fresh on a new month I haven't filled in all of it it's got a couple of pages at the beginning but what is the vision for the life i want and what is my life's purpose so i've got two pages there to write some stuff on uh which i haven't done yet but i will do it's got things i am grateful for um my affirmations so that's where you write things out you know and you say them to yourself every day and it's supposed to make you feel better about yourself uh, what am I passionate about? What brings me my you know what brings me joy in life? Skills to learn. So the things I I am grateful for and what am I what am I passionate about? I suppose if you know if you're having a down day and you keep looking back at these things, it'll you know it'll cheer you up and keep you keep you going. Um, skills to learn. So you can write down everything that you think you know. I really want to do this. Um, you know, I want to learn how to do bullet journal, journaling or something like that. And you can write them down and then you won't forget. Uh, it's got my vision board, which I haven't done yet and I need to get to that. It's had goals, so goals for the year. So I have filled in most of those in different, different areas of my life. Um, my three month goals, which I haven't done. So from your yearly goals, you can break it down into smaller chunks. And it's got a page for mind maps. Um, then you've got 12 pages of month to view diary uh, so it's all um, the whole month's all in one page so you can put everything in there um, it's got this month's goals so you can break your three months goals down even further into monthly goals and you can at the end you've got monthly reviews so you can see you know how do I feel about my progress I'm looking forward to um, which areas were lacking what insights have I gained and then after the monthly ones, it breaks down into weekly, into a weekly diary. So you've got your weekly diary on one page and on the next page, you've got this week's main goals. So again, you've, you've got your yearly goals, your three months goals, your monthly goals, and then you can break that down into what your weekly goals want to be that week. So I think it's easier to break it down into little pieces. Um, and then you've got this week's priorities, your personal to-do list, and you've got a little ticky box thing where you can, you know, habits and skills, have you done it that day? Uh, and then at the end of the week, this week's wins and how I'll improve next week. And it's it's, a, it's for a whole year. And at the end, there's quite a big chunk of it is um, for bullet journaling, which is one of the skills that I did want to learn because I have no idea what I'm supposed to do in there. So I, re I just really loved it. And um, it's got a little bit on the, on the side so you can put your pen in. Like I say, I have started using it. I'll give it a few months and then I'll let you know how I'm getting on with it and if you know if it's working for us because I do need to start getting organized I'm just totally unorganized at the moment and I think a lot of people might be it has a nice little booklet to go with it that tells you how it all works because it is it is quite um not complicated but there's a lot to it so it's got a lot of stuff in there that tells you how to use it and it also comes with some really nice stickers so you can make your you know your diaries and your monthly goals and stuff look look quite colourful, which I thought was a, a cute touch. So I was I absolutely loved that. So that was a really nice birthday present. I had a nice birthday this year actually, considering uh, you know we're locked down. I still managed to see family. Um, got some really nice nice stuff. Had some quite a few proseccos with um the copperberg strawberry and lime gin that I've mentioned before. Uh, yeah, I did have quite a bit of a hangover the next day. But yeah, I had a really nice birthday. The last couple of things I wanted to mention are TV series. Um, and the first one is A Big Fat Fail. And it was The Witcher. Um, 
it's a fantasy TV series and it's got Henry Cavill in as the, the title character, the Witcher. Henry Cavill who is Superman, he was also in the Tudors. Really like Henry Cavill. Um, it says, this is, this is what it says it is. Mutated monster hunter struggles to find his place in the world. That's what it says. And I know it's, de it's developed from books that were written and it had a lot of good things said about it. We watched, I think we got halfway through the fifth episode and I stopped watching it. I have no idea what this program is about, none whatsoever. Every episode seemed to be about something different and it was, it felt totally disjointed. I like fantasy stuff. Um, big Game of Thrones fans, loved Lord of the Rings, things like that. So I do like fantasy stuff. Um, I just, I really don't know what it's about. I haven't got a clue and I couldn't see where it was going. Just, and, and Henry Cavill, what is with your voice as the Witcher? He's kind of lowered it a couple of tones and he's talking all gravelly like that. I just, what is that about? So again, if anybody has watched this and they loved it, please explain to me what it is what is it about because i know they've made a second series and i'm so annoyed that i'm not enjoying it because i like things like that and i like to get my teeth into you know at least two series so if you know what it's about tell us do you think i should continue to watch it but i gave up so that was my fail for the month um and my favorite tv show for the month and this is the last thing and it was car share peter k's car share it's been around a while and I had watched it before but we decided to re-watch it last month. Um, just big belly laugh programme, hilarious. If you've never seen it, it's about these two people, it's Peter Kay who's, I can't remember his name, character's name, but Peter Kay who's the, the driver um, and the, the, the girl who's his passenger, they work in a supermarket and the supermarket have decided to do a car share thing with all the staff and he gets this girl, he, he doesn't know her but the, the, you know, the, he drives her to work every day and home every day and they get to know each other and it, 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 you know, it's just really, really funny, hilariously funny. There is a scene in the second series where they've been to a zoo for the day um, and they discover a monkey on the back seat <laughs> in the it's just really funny hilarious um and there's also a scene i think it's in the very first episode with a with a bottle of um what peter k thinks is water <laughs> but isn't it's a urine sample hilarious the whole thing is just hilarious so i can highly recommend that so those were all my favorites and my fail for june so I hope you enjoyed that. Um, did you have any favourites that you got in June or, you know, you, you've watched in June, particularly if it's makeup or TV or films, I'd really like to know. Just, you know, drop a um, message in the comments below. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel and you think you might like to watch me again, um, just hit the little subscribe button. And then if you hit the bell, you'll also get notified when I upload a new video. That's all I've got for you for today. I hope you enjoyed it, like I said, and I'll see you again really soon. So bye for now.